Hi friends, welcome back. In this module, we are going to discuss about these concepts, how to create a bucket and a walkthrough of settings when we are creating a bucket, how to flush a bucket and how to edit a bucket, bucket settings, how to change the memory, increase or decrease the memory of a bucket and the conflict resolution and other settings. So conflict resolution, we can't change it once we create a bucket. To change the conflict resolution for a bucket, you can create a new bucket with the desired conflict resolution type and copy the data from the old bucket to this new bucket. How to delete a bucket, we are going to see that and I will load some dummy data using CB workload gen. After that we are going to see CB export and CB import, how to export a bucket and import it, create a bucket. So basically what is a bucket? Couchbase buckets use it to store the data in the form of document. So bucket can be created using these methods. We can create it from the Couchbase web UI, web console or we can use CLI to create the bucket command line interface. We can also use the REST API. A maximum of 30 buckets can be created as per the clusters. In the earlier versions, this limit was 10. The next version, they may increase this limit to 60 or depends. This will be always changing from the version to version. This is a command to create the bucket using a command line interface. Bucket create, the IP address, admin username and password, and the bucket name here, the bucket type, Couchbase, bucket RAM size, you want to allocate, bucket replicas, how many replicas you are going to have. One point about the replicas is, if you mention replica 2, then bucket will be having total 3 copies, one original copy plus two replica copies, total 3 copies will be there in the cluster. Bucket priority, eviction policy, full eviction and value only, that we are going to discuss now. If you enable flush is 1, that means when you click on the bucket, flush button will be available. Kept it as 0, it will not be shown. You can enable or disable any type. Enable index replicas 1, which will enable the replicas for the indexes created on this bucket. This is a command to create the bucket using REST. How to edit a bucket using REST API? This is a command. You have to provide the bucket URL, bucket type and what are the settings you want to change. You can provide them accordingly. If you want to disable the flush button, you can kept it as 0. If you want to increase or decrease the replicas, you can change this value. If you want to change the eviction policy, you can change it here. Loading dummy data. The CB workload gen tool is useful to test the Couchbase cluster as well to generate dummy data set. You can do performance tests, some stress testing, you can use this. Uh, so this command is to generate a set of 1 million JSON documents on the cluster, bodies of at least 10 to 40 bytes. CBC pillow fight creates a specified number of threads like this command will run with 20 threads. Below command runs 100 iterations of 2 MB item sizes using data set of 50 items. CB export is an utility to export data from Couchbase in various different formats. To mention the format, you can use hyphen f and it will take lines or list as inputs. So the lines format specifies a file that contains one JSON document on every line the file. The list format also specifies a file which contains a JSON list where each element in the list is a JSON document. CB import. It is used to bulk load JSON from multiple formats hyphen g which is a key generation pattern suppose you see this json file it is holding documents with name and age so when we are importing this data we are using a key containing the name field and the uuid so these are the topics covered in this video so this is theoretical part i have covered in the next video i'll be covering the practical demo for all these concepts